week I begged to present for second reading the bill short entitled Land and House Tax Amendment. Mr. Speaker, the bill for consideration by this honorable house is a land and house tax amendment bill. The primary purpose of this bill, Mr. Speaker, is to amend the Land and House Tax Act to grant a further extension of the special tax exemption on residential properties. And the second aim, Mr. Speaker, is a waiver of the tax owned on all properties owned and managed by Sport Solution Incorporated, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the Land and House Tax Amendment Act Number 11 of 2017 granted a three-year exemption in residential property owners for the, for the calendar years 2017, 2018, and 2019. That was followed, Mr. Speaker, by the Land and House Tax Amendment Act Number 32 of 2019 and number seven of 2021, which provided a waiver of two additional years. The last amendment, the Land and House Tax Amendment Act number five of 2022, provided an extension of the waiver for the calendar year 2022. Mr. Speaker, this waiver provides a further moratorium for, of property tax for the year 2023, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this means that for, for, for the years 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023, Mr. Speaker, all house taxes on residential property has been waived. But you heard me, the speaker, the member for Microsoft, talk about this government overtaxing people. So apart from all the VAT exemptions, apart from the reduction in the tax threshold, we are now ensuring that all house taxes from 2017 will be waived, Mr. Speaker including the tax amnesty, including the tax amnesty, Mr. Speaker, and members and the public will hear what will happen to the tax amnesty during the policy debate next month, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, that is a government that's accused of taxing. Where, where is the reality in that argument? Taxing. So now we've waived all house tax. And what is going to happen? Very soon, the cabinet will have to decide on what is the future of property tax or house tax in solution, Mr. Speaker. Because people, people need their garbage cleared, people need their, their, their verges cleaned, etc., Mr. Speaker. And we have to decide what happens, Mr. Speaker. What happens? But in the meantime, we are saying that we're going to waive it from 2017, Mr. Speaker. And if you owed before, we've taken off all the fines, the penalties, and the interest on these taxes, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, that is the reality. And when we speak about reality, and you had a member for, but, and Mr. Speaker, you know, he came here this morning, he accused us of overtaxing the public, and he just walked away, as usual. This is the arrogance and the contempt that the whole of people say, Mr. Speaker. The arrogance. You come, you accuse, you threaten, and you walk out, and you walk out, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, the second part of this motion is taxes owed by Sports Income, Sports Inc., Mr. Speaker. And again, further support to the sports people of St. Lucia. So, the Darren, Darren Sandy Ground, the Mindy Phillip Park, the George Olam Stadium, Mr. Speaker. And I, I forgot to tell the member for Vivo as well. Some of the loan that we took from the Saudis, Mr. Speaker, will be used to renovate the George Odlam Stadium. <coughs> and this year, we are going to initiate a consultancy so that the reno so we can begin to cost the renovation to the George Charles Stadium. Mr. Speaker. So when St. Jude is completed, 
sometime soon we are going to begin the repairs to the, on the George Olam Stadium, Mr. Speaker, for the people, young people of St. Lucia, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I just, I would like members to support it. It's further tax relief to show that this government is not what they want to make it, want the, not the leader of the, of the opposition wants us to believe. This is really not a taxing government. It's a government that has given the most tax relief, Mr. Speaker in the history of St. Lucia. And that continues from the last time you were in government. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.